Alright, let's uh, take a few quick moments and squeeze in a mission before I have to do some gaming later tonight. Trying something else out with the sound here, so uh, we'll see how this works. Oh, yes. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Hmm. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So... This particular mission don't require you to have no gun, just a wetsuit. Ha, <laughs> gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Yep. Just show up. I'll see you there. Okay. really can't just she the weapon without switching okay uh, let's um... yeah let's head on down here and I'll uh, clean the Beat Saber info up later directly to me are we preparing for a v, visit you're here what is he doing here i forbade you from even breathing on that militech convoy so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back is that it uh-huh that's exactly why i had v come and stand right in front of you do you think i really think you can forbid pan am from doing anything trust me no point she'll do whatever she wants no she won't not if she plans to stay in this family damn it to hell saul are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. 
What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul <laughs> wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's Come simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A crap like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> Wish I were on the road. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn sure. All too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes. Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Why not? Hmm. Seems okay. like fun. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Darling, I do not know. For now, I am with my family. Do not say that. You know that I cannot simply leave. You must endure what? a while longer. I am sorry, too. V? What? What? 
who? It's like someone was whispering that right in my ear. Uh, yeah. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. First. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. Yes? What's up? You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. Wanna see what you got I'm in stock? Sure you didn't leave any traps. Only the no, baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Are you trying Isn't that why you're back? All right, what do we have? That's quite expensive for a rifle. I'm using a lot of pistols lately. It'd be nice to uh, switch it up to a rifle, but not uh, not for almost a hundred k. Which is basically all of my cash. Definitely not worth it. Okay, okay. Forget I... Especially not when I have something right there. Oh. Okay. Even at. Okay. Guess I can't do that while she's waiting for me to get in. Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saw has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. That's a great voice mod there. Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. Someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. All right, we have arrived. Guess we're here. like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. All right. There we go. Thing is 
Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. How did you weasel your way in there? Here I opened the damned door. Be right there. Ha uh ha. -huh. where so many tracks converge <laughs> junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off in a thousand journeys itself. all at once perhaps more simply hopeful What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, stay out of your hair then. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Okay then. Fine. Fine. I don't know why it's having me talk to the nomads. Punch cards, really? What cards? All the cards, all the, all the columns. The fuck? Would you help me look? Sure thing.
Nothing here. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. sequence. One, no, okay, 29 euro bucks. Same thing here. Search the rest of these things then. Well, well, well. She's doing a great job of searching. Got something. Good job. Nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? This may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. 
Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Yeah, for now. No. That did not take me down like I hoped it would. There I was hoping for a shortcut. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one over. Stars have emerged. But a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new content. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. 
Ought to raise a glass of the scorpion. And a jack. Scorpion. some sleep okay it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through you couldn't sleep if you tried could you I'll just lie here a while by your side gazing at the stars is that another area of your expertise you got maps of the heavens in your library too of course that's the big dipper and do you see the small flickering star to the right uh, yeah you do oh dear that means there's a major leak good night V. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B.
was the plan, boss. Do these guys take? All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Interesting door just hanging out in the middle there. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. the cash. Of course it did. Just as I said it would. One of these gonna blow up. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Something to go wrong here. Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The Zoots finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Unless they're switching codes for an ambush team? Uh -huh. Weird, there's no catch. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. <coughs> so it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. <laughs> I 
Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Alright. I guess we can talk about our next, but for now. Alright, I'm going to go and grab some dinner. So we'll stop the stream right here.